guys, guess what time it is? It's time for Joseph to put MIT in the title in order to get views. Hey man, at least I'm being honest. What's good everyone? I'm here today to talk to you about my first year at MIT. Now, before we begin, I want to let you know that my first semester, which was completely online and not on campus, I talked about that in another video and that video did really well, which is why I'm doing another one of these because like I said, I like views. This video focuses more so on the second semester and really the stuff I've learned throughout my entire year at MIT so far. In that video, I just mentioned, I talked about how hard the coursework I felt was at MIT and I had this to say. So far, it's not that bad. Why, why the fuck did I say? I. I wish I could go back in time and go and tell that Joseph Wee to shut the fuck up. The first semester, I took some of the easiest courses possible at MIT in terms of like rating and them being like very basic courses, comparatively speaking. They were almost all of them general requirements. I did take general requirements this year. I took one, I think. And the rest of my courses were a little bit more, like a little bit more advanced. They weren't the general requirements. They were like base requirements for my major. I had a really hard time. I just don't get why professors here choose to make their classes so fucking hard. It's like, do they get paid more when their students have lower grades? Like, do they just enjoy imposing cruel and unusual punishment among us? I don't get it, man. I remember I was talking to some of my friends and they were taking like this really hard class, like computer science. I have no idea what it was, but their average on the test was like 62%. That was the average. The average score was 62%. And they didn't curve the test. Like, how do you, how the fuck do you let that happen? How do you let your students get a 62 average on a test and you don't curve that shit? How does that fucking happen? I think in terms of Zoom and, you know, time spent on homework combined, I spent a about 40 hours a week on classes. One thing that people keep fucking asking me is, hey, Joseph, what's your major? Joseph, what's your major? Joseph, what are you majoring in? Okay, here's my fucking major, guys. I'm majoring in computer science, economics, and data science. Okay, that's what the major is called. For those of you nerds who already know the course numbers at MIT before getting here, that's 614. And I'm planning on, if things go well, double majoring in 15.2, which is business analytics. After seeing literally almost hundreds of comments on my videos about what I'm majoring in, maybe you can finally get a fucking answer to that and you can stop asking me, okay? If you see this video, stop asking me for my fucking major. I took physics too. Thank fucking God. I fucking hate physics. MIT, you have a requirement to take two physics courses. As someone who is likely going to be going into a business slash economics type thing in the future, I just never saw where I would ever have to know about static and kinetic friction coefficients and need to know about fucking Kepler's law. Like, I don't know when I'm ever going to need to use that. The, the class itself was actually like, physics two this semester was the easiest class I took. The information I was learning was the most useless thing. I, I understand having a better scientific background and under, thinking scientifically is important, but learning about physics itself is just like, whenever I do it, it's just like, why? Why am I doing this? Like, there is absolutely no context in my life out after MIT that I'll ever need to know this shit. Like, 95% of this shit. So it was just really hard. It was really stupid. Professors were really good. Like, obviously, you don't need me to say that. Like, the professors were really good, especially considering they were over Zoom. Like, I truly felt like they did, they did a very good job adapting and just teaching their class, which I would hope so, considering I'm spending 70,000 fucking dollars per year on this fucking school. The classes were enjoyable except for physics because again who needs to know about electromagnetic waves when you're dealing with the fucking stock markets i mean what like why why do i need to know this <sighs> anyway let's talk a little bit about imposter syndrome and feeling really stupid so i distinctly remember um uh, for my business analytics class um we had a final project and it was like a project where you could basically do as much coding as you wanted like if you really wanted to do like basic coding you could probably do that and that's that's from the level i'm at right now the rest of my group members we had a group of five the other four were really good at coding and i was really bad at it well, our group decided to make the project a lot more coding intensive than it really needed to be 
And I was assigned some code and some tasks that were really coding intensive and quite frankly, outside of my knowledge base or stuff that I was really comfortable doing at all. And they got really mad at me. I genuinely didn't know how to do the tasks at hand. It's like recursion and stuff and like dynamic programming, which I had like a very basic introduction to in my first semester at MIT, but I really had no idea what I was doing. And the rest of them did know how to do it. So I told them like, can you like let me do like the soft skills part of the project like maybe writing doing the write-up doing the conclusion writing about like our process and stuff like that Th there's a there was a text message i got in the group chat from one of the group members and i don't remember exactly what it is i'm going to pull it up on the screen for you guys in editing right here but, but uh, this person basically said this is a coding class if you cannot code then you should not have joined the class for context this class this business analyst class um, had one prerequisite, I think, and it was like the most basic coding class in the school. And in that class, you do not learn the coding that you're asking me to do. And so I wanted to say sorry for just being really dumb. Like, I, that's the point I was at. I was just, I wanted to apologize for being stupid and not being capable because that was the point I was at. Because these people were so much better than me at coding, so much smarter than me, so much more capable than me. And I was just sitting here like a lame duck, like, I want to help you, but at the same time, I can't. Which was a really awkward position for me. And that kind of summarizes my entire semester in terms of how I felt academically. So in my pod, I was by far the person who took the least complex class. I was by far the least advanced. I am so clearly the dumb person in the group. It's not even funny. Every single time I have like a question about coursework, they'll know the answer. And every time they will have a question about coursework, I'll have no idea what even the fuck of the realm or scope of the class they're talking about. Like, I just don't understand. As someone who came from, you know, a pretty regular public high school, I'm not extremely used to playing the role of the dumbass friend. Like, I'm just not. If you look at it objectively, I'm in like a very, very hard school to get into and I feel average there, which is, you know, fine. But then when you're in the friend group and the people you're around are just better than you and they're all above average, it's like, oh my God, I'm gonna go fucking crazy. This leads me into the next segment of this video, social life at MIT. It was pretty hard to feel very connected to the rest of the campus because our COVID policies are basically that. Obviously there was the wear a mask everywhere except with your pod. You have the social distance everywhere except with your pod. You have to get tested twice a week. You can't be in gatherings even when social distance, like more than like 10 people probably like recommended. So it was like pretty hard to get to know new people. Recently, like I, I realized like I'm a shy extrovert. I really like talking to people. I get energized from talking to people. I really like having a conversation. I just feel very shy around new people. It's just hard for me to kind of break the ice. I am off the bat a shy person. It's a little bit hard, especially during a COVID semester to really reach out to people because you have to like text them and stuff like i feel like during normal times you would probably see someone like in a club like in real life in an in-person class and be like hey you seem cool want to hang out like hey well, let's talk let's, let's have a conversation let's, let's talk man and it's like when you're in a COVID semester it's kind of a little bit hard to do that because when you are in a class everyone has their cameras off and they don't really want to talk to you even in a breakout room and it's like you can't even do that many things because not that many things are open and you can't like take off your mask you can't even see what they look like it's just it's not a great time. I, I could give myself a small pa pass on that, but it was just like, I really regret not reaching out to more people and like really making more of an effort to get to know the people who I really did already reach out to. I, it was just like, I felt very disconnected. I'm going to a very different dorm with a very different culture next semester. And that was on purpose because I wanted to meet different types of people. I wanted a very big change up from what I had this semester because I feel like I didn't really find my people this semester yet. And I really want to try to do that next semester. Let's talk about food. Let's talk about weight. So the food, is pretty good for the first month or so, but then it strictly fell off a fucking cliff. I think during the semester I gained 10 pounds or something. Wow, like it was just, it was not good. I'm a tennis player. I was treated here for tennis. So like on the tennis court, I constantly felt like I was out of breath. 
during, especially the beginning of the season. And I was just like, hmm, maybe this is just because, you know, I've been playing tennis for a little bit because of COVID. And we're also wearing masks. Like, oh, it's totally fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely physically fine when I start playing more. I mean, you don't have to wear a mask. Like, I'm gonna be physically okay. So that was a fucking lie. One of my main goals this summer is to lose the fucking weight I gained over the past two years. And I've been doing an okay job at that. I've lost 15 to 20 pounds in the last month or so, which is great. I feel really proud of myself for doing that. The job's not finished though at all. I still need to lose a lot of weight to get where I want to be. Tennis was okay. I mean, we had a restriction where we can only practice three times a week, which is really fucking weird because it's like, if one of us has COVID on the team, I feel like the rest of people are going to get COVID or like are very likely to get COVID, whether it's three times a week or five times a week or just every day. Like, why wouldn't you just let us practice normally? I don't understand. I really don't get it. We're one of the only schools this, this semester who didn't allow their spring sports teams to actually compete, which is really lame. And I'm still salty about that. I actually didn't even know that the D3 tennis championships were still happening until someone in our group chat texted us the link and said, hey, if anyone wants to watch, watch. I didn't even know it was going on. Like, that's how much of a bubble we were in like almost every other school in the nation even d3 teams were competing and we were not allowed to do that and that pissed me the fuck off this semester really was a huge wake-up call for me in terms of how much i need to really start working out more and really get my weight down and i think i have taken that really personally and taken that to heart and i have really worked on that since so yeah i had a great time i gained some weight i'm losing that weight i made friends i wish i made more friends the class is really hard and that's about it. I'm very happy to answer any questions you have in the comment section, except if it's my major, because I'm gonna be very fucking mad if you ask me for my major again. I mean, if you're still here, that means you probably fuck with me at least a little bit and you're new to the channel. Please like the video. Please consider subscribing because I make a lot of videos similar to this on the channel. For the rest of y'all, I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and I really hope that this video was interesting. So stay anxious, everyone. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Take care and I'm out. Peace.